Okay, I'm, I have three problems I'm going to go through here. This is the first one. Uh, and I want to show how we can use some of the things we have learned to this point uh, to solve some of these questions. Uh, and this will be uh, this will be good practice for uh, taking a future standardized tests, um, including the SAT. Um, okay, here's the first problem. We're given a, a circle. Okay, a circle center O has diameter CD right across here. Uh, we're also given that the line AB is parallel with this diameter CD. Uh, and the measure of this angle right in here, uh, which is OA and OB, is 80 degrees. And it intersects uh, the circle right here at those points, uh, which define that parallel line AB. And uh, the problem is to find the measure of arc CA. Find the measure of this arc right in here. Okay, well let's look at this problem. Um, okay, the first thing uh, we have is that um, uh, we have two radii of the circle. This is OA is a radius of the circle and OB is a radius of the circle. So that would mean that uh, this line right here is congruent with this line. Okay, it's equal to that line. And that also tells us that this angle right in here is equal to this angle right in here because they're isosceles triangles. Now because this line is parallel with this line, then we know that this angle and this angle are equal. And we know that this angle and this angle are equal. That comes from the fact that the two lines, uh, CD and AB, are parallel lines. Okay, well... Wow. Now we've got a lot of information here. If we know that this is 80 degrees, and we know that the sum of the angles around the semicircle here must be 180 degrees, uh, so we know that this whole sum right around here, this angle right in here, let me use a different color under drawing, we know that this angle right in here is 180 degrees. This angle is 80 degrees. So the sum of these two angles is 180 minus 80. That's 100 degrees. Okay. So the sum of those two angles is 100 degrees. But we also know that these two angles that sum to 100 degrees are equal. So the only way they can be equal is for uh, for the two angles to be equal. So in other words, the, the angle subtended by this arc must equal the angle subtended by that arc. Uh, and they sum to 100 degrees, which implies then that the measure of the angle subtended by this arc, CA, is 50 degrees. So this will be 50 degrees. So the answer to this problem is 50 degrees. Okay. Now let's go on to this uh, next problem right in here. Okay, let me pull this down. Okay, a little bit more complicated problem. We have, we're given a circle. We're given two intersecting chords of the circle. We're given the length of some of these sides. So the length of this side from the intersection point right here, the length from here to here is 4, length from here to here is 3, and the length from here to here is 6. And we're asked to compute uh, this length right in here. Well, um, okay, uh, it, what's interesting about that is let me pull out this uh, JavaScript applet that I did uh, a little while ago. And uh, this was actually to prove what uh, some might call the magic point theorem. And that here we have two secants to a circle the two secants intersect at the point G out here. And what, the, what this theorem said is that we do the product of GD times GC. It equals the product of GE times GF. And those products are shown down here and here. And indeed, as I move the point G around, you can see that those two products are always equal. Now, when I uh, wrote uh, the... the uh, uh, the, the example that produced the Java applet here, JavaScript applet, uh, applet I didn't restrict G to be outside um, 
the circle. I can pull G to be inside the circle. So now it's computing GD times GC and GE times GF. And lo and behold, those two products are also equal. So this times this is equal to that times that. Amazing. Now I haven't proven that, but I sort of accidentally find that this a JavaScript applet is telling me that that's the case. Okay, wow. So what's, uh, uh, so if that were the case, then I know that 3 times x, let me pull this out now, 3 times x, if, if I uh, use that and say, what is this telling me? It's telling me that uh, 3 times x is equal to 4 times 6, 4 times 6, 4 times 6 is 24, so, three, so x must equal 8, right? As this implies that 3 times x is equal to 24 implies that x equals 8. But of course using that JavaScript app, applet isn't a proof uh, of the result. So let's see if we can't prove it using a more traditional approach. And as is uh, common in geometry, the way uh, I'm going to do it is by adding some extra lines. And let me change the color of those lines to red. Okay, yeah, I'm going to add some extra lines. Add a line here and add a line here and see what we can say about the resulting triangles. Okay, well, uh, I, I certainly know that this angle equals this angle. And I look at this triangle here, and this triangle, sub 10 z arc EC, as, uh, so this angle right in here, this angle D, sub 10 z arc CE, and this angle at F, sub 10 is the same arc, CE. So if they, and we've proven before that any inscribed angle for a circle if it subtends the same arc of the circle, the inscribed angles must be equal. That's telling me that this angle must be equal to this angle. So I have two triangles, okay, this angle equal to that angle, this angle equals to this angle. So the triangles must indeed be similar triangles. So this triangle is similar, this angle equals this angle, and the two triangles are similar. So that's telling me then, you know, by the ratio of uh, sides and similar triangles, that 3 is to 6, what 4 is to x. So I have 3 is to 6 is what 4 is to x. So that's telling me that 3 times x is equal to 4 times th 6, 3x is equal to 24, and lo and behold, that means that x equals 8. So it's the same result that I just got using the uh, uh, Java script applet from the uh, magic point theorem. Okay, so we've got that problem. One more problem I want to look at, and here we go, this one right here. Pull it up, down, okay. This one um, is, uh, we have, uh, okay, we have the circle. We have a secant to the circle. Uh, we have a tangent to the circle, okay. Here's the center of the circle, so this is the radius of the circle. We're given this length is 4 and this length is 6. And we're asked to find this whole length right in here. Well, again, let me pull out this JavaScript applet right here. That I could I could um, move this point around in here until I get th these two points are overlaying. Okay, so I have. Uh, let's keep moving. No, I don't want those two points. I want these two points. So these two points overlay. So here's my tangent, and here's my chord. Now this is telling me that. This, remember what I have is that 
this distance, this times this, uh, sorry, this distance times this distance must equal this distance times that distance. Well, when I move this around like that, I now make the, the two distances along this line are both equal, and they're both equal to this distance right here. So this distance squared is equal to that distance plus that distance. And that is shown right down here. If I have those two circles overlapping just right, see they're missing and they're overlapping just not quite right, but when they overlap just right, I get that those two points are equal as they are right here, 129. So those two products are equal. So this is telling me that this distance squared is equal to this times that, or I go back over to this diagram, this distance squared, this distance right here, is equal to this times that. So if I use the result as implied by the uh, uh, JavaScript applet, I would be saying that 6 squared uh, is equal to 4 times this distance times this distance, 4 times AD. Okay, 6 squared is 36, so I have 36 is equal to 4 times AD. I solve for AD, it tells me 9 equals AD. So 9 is equal to uh, AD, it tells me that DC is equal to 5, and 9 is equal to AD. So this is one way of solving the problem. Another way of solving the problem is, let me draw this line right here. There. Now, uh, I previously have recorded a, a video, uh, uh, and which I call the, uh, the, the secant, uh, the tangent, or I'm sorry, the tangent chord theorem is where I have a tangent to a circle and then a chord drawn from the point where the tangent intersects a circle like that, that this angle right in here, this angle is half the angle subtended by the arc, okay? This angle is half the angle subtended by the arc. I call that the chord tangent theorem. You should look at that video. Okay, now if I draw this line right in here, I know this is an inscribed angle right here. So where angle D is, is an inscribed angle, and it subtends that same arc. So angle D, this angle, the inscribed angle, is half the angle subtended by the arc. And this angle, the angle between the chord and the tangent, is half the angle subtended by the arc. So this angle equals that angle. This angle is common to both triangles. So I have this triangle, boom, 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 like that. And then I have the larger triangle here, here, here. And those two triangles now, because I have two angles in each one are similar to two angles in the other, then those two triangles are similar triangles. So if they're similar triangles, I can now, again, I can talk about ratios. I have the short side, let's say this side in this triangle, the short side in this triangle is comparable to the short side in this triangle. Uh, short side in this, in this one is, is compared to the short side in that one. So 4 is to 6 as the long side in this one is to the long side in that one. So I have 4 is to 6 as AD is to AD, this angle right here, is to AB here. So I have 4 is to 6 as AB is to AD. Just like that. Okay, now, and I want to find uh, AD, this long length here. 
Okay, so I, I use the fact then that this, that these triangles are similar. Um, the, uh, the distance AB is 6, so this is 6. So I have 6 times 6 is equal to 4 times AD. So let me write that, 4 times AD equals 6 times 6, which is 36. And that tells me that AD is equal to 9. So there I used similar triangles uh, and used the uh, chord tangent theorem to uh, de uh, develop the result, which is exactly the same as that JavaScript outlet ga gave us. So here's, uh, here's the third problem that I wanted to discuss. Till next time.